Hello and a very warm welcome wherever in the world you're watching our coverage. Coming up, Mumbai City against Nav Bahor. Continuing coverage of the AFC Champions League. This is a Group D match in the West region. And there are a couple of questions to be answered. Most importantly, can Nav Bahor accrue enough points to go through as one of the best runners-up? You can see they're currently on 10. Al-Hilal have already qualified. That's because they've got a better head-to-head -head record against Nav Bahor. So even if the Uzbek team wins and Al-Hilal lose their last match, the Uzbek team will not be able to overtake the current group leaders. The other question, can Mumbai City finally score a goal in the AFC Champions League? They're the only nation, the only club, rather, I should say, of the uh, participating teams who have not found the net so far. 39 of them have. Mumbai City have not. And those gathered at the Sri Shriv Chatrapati Sports Complex here in Pune will be desperately hoping they can break their duck and at least come away with a little bit of respectability after a campaign that has not been at all what they would have wanted. It's only their second season in the AFC Champions League. They finished second last year, didn't qualify from the knockout stage, but even being rooted to the bottom of the group hasn't dampened the fans' enthusiasm, as you can see. They are a dedicated bunch. The other problem for Mumbai City, they lost their manager two and a half weeks ago, Des Buckingham, decided to go back to England after two years in charge to manage Oxford United, who play in League One in his homeland. He actually began his coaching career there with the age group teams when he was just 18 years of age. He had a successful time here, albeit not in this competition. Mumbai City the first club to win both the League Winners' Shield and the Indian Super League title in the same season. That was in 2020-21. Uh, what a long history of famous names. The former England international Peter Reid managed the club during its first season with uh, Freddie Lundberg, ex-Arsenal, as the marquee player. In the second season, Nicholas Anelka was the player manager and a side that also included the former Manchester United striker Diego Forlan but times have been uh, not quite as explosive since as for Nav Bahor, well they've had an excellent campaign they've won three of their five games to date they drew with Al Hilal away on match day one it could have been so different they conceded in the tenth minute of injury time in that match and then they lost to the Saudi Arabian side 2-0 at home last week, and hence why their head-to-head -head record is inferior. They've had a, an excellent campaign defensively. Coach Samuel Babian builds from the back. They've only conceded three times. And in fact, all three of those goals were against the Al-Hilal. So three clean sheets out of five. There is the Nepal coach. 52 years of age now. He was actually the first boss of, uh, or first boss here back in 1996, and he left in 2001. Also coached in China, and he arrived back a couple of years ago. Fascinating thing with the way that the competition works. So basically, the 10 group winners qualify for the round of 16 along with the three best runners up in each zone so the three best runners up from the five groups in the west region which is this uh, matches region and Babian doesn't quite know how many points are going to be enough it might be that the 10 they've already accrued will be sufficient maybe uh, if they get a point 11 will work they may need to win but he is going to have to work on the basis that they need three points to be sure ground that holds just shy of 12,000 it won't be full but as I mentioned they're a very dedicated and loyal band the uh, Mumbai City fans and as you can tell from the cheers it means that the banner and the officials and teams are about to make their way onto the playing surface here in Pune Last year, that 
Dortmund. Bayern went on an 18-match unbeaten league run. That was the longest ever in the history of the Indian Super League. That's why it, it was such a blow to lose uh, Des Buckingham. So Anthony Fernandez, the assistant coach, is going to be in charge of Mumbai City from the dugout today. So the customary handshakes. This is Napoli's first season in the Asian Champions League, so qualifying will be a huge achievement for them. They actually only got through to the group stage by beating uh, Al Wakra of Qatar in extra time in the playoffs. Well, here is the Mumbai City side. The man most likely to break their goal drought, you would think, is number 30, Jorge Diaz, the uh, Argentinian striker, who is the leading scorer so far. It's only embryonic stages of the Indian Super League, but he's got five goals for the campaign. Man in charge tonight is Mohamed Nazar Rudin of Malaysia. And we do have VAR for the first time this season in the uh, group stage. And we've got two Thai officials checking on the uh, technology to ensure fair play tonight. Two skippers, Akme Dev on the right-hand side. And Raul Beke, the 32-year-old captain of Mumbai City. The man who's really impressed for Napahor in this group stage has been number 10, Jamshid Iskandarov, the uh, playmaker. He's only five foot six. He looks such a diminutive guy, but terrific talent, excellent on the ball. He's got an eye for goal, too. He has scored in this competition this season, former Uzbek Player of the Year. And you'll notice only five substitutes are named by Napahor. Any five can be used by the two coaches. Nath Bahal were only founded back in uh, 1978. It's actually the fourth different name they've had. Translates as New Spring in Uzbek. As we look at the uh, Mumbai City side. But that man's defensive coaching ability has been very much to the fore as we head into match week six. There is Jorge Diaz, who's played uh, all round South America for finding a home here. He's 33 now. Mohamed Nawaz is one of the shortest goalkeepers in the Champions League. He's only five foot nine. And there's Anthony Fernandez, who is in temporary charge until they find a permanent successor to replace Des Bucking. Referee just waiting for the clock to tick round to the official start time. So where we go with Mumbai City all in black, attacking the goal away to our left in this first half and just absolutely desperate to find the net. In a campaign largely to forget. Anthony Fernandez, the uh, standing coach, was saying at the start in his pre-match interview that it's not that they haven't been creating chances, but the finishing has been, well, in a word, woeful. Trying to put that right this evening but against a team that it's difficult to score against his is my lot tough as teak midfielder for now for Hall. Back 
Mehmedov, the captain, who only arrived in July from FK Turon. He's a very versatile player, the skipper. He can play centre half where he is tonight on the ball there. He can play in central midfield or as a, a holding midfielder. They have got a few injuries, so he's starting out at the heart of the back four. Put out of play by Luka Chermel, the Serbian. Father and brother are both pros. All kinds of names have been mentioned. Uh, linked with the vacant Mumbai City manager's job. We'll come back to that in a moment. Because here's Mishra. First time that Mumbai have ventured into the Navajo Hall half. Headed away comfortably by Igor Goldban. Hard to chip it over him, he's six foot four. Now Tiri, the Spaniard, playing alongside uh, the Aussie, Rostin Griffiths. Centre half for Mumbai City. It's a big unit, Rostin Griffiths. Hasn't been fit for much of the season, actually. by Skandarov, straight away looking for a positive ball forward, the Nathal Hall number 10. Comfortable win for Napa Hall in the reverse fixture, three and it was on match day two back in October. In truth, that 3 0 scoreline probably flattered Mumbai a number of chances. See, uh, Chermel has got his shirt number 31 tattooed on the back of his neck. will be the Serbian to take the throw. So it just, just looks a little slippy. We've seen a couple of players sliding around already inside the first two or three minutes. Another Nathal Hall ball. Came off Lenning Marwia. Who seems to have been around forever? He's only 23 still. He was the youngest ever Indian Super League skipper at 20 when he played at Northeast United. This might off. Well, certainly so far, you wouldn't think it was a dead rubber from Mumbai City's point of view. Fully committed to every challenge. Playing for a little bit of pride tonight, concluding their Champions League campaign on home soil. There's Diaz. Played all around South America in Chile, in Bolivia, in Argentina. And his uh, goal scoring record here is very good 16 in 25 league appearances today. Cleared away by Yusupov. This more novel will chase it. Seen off by Beke. Very experienced Indian international. Oh, a little slip there from uh, Aknidov. And Mumbai might be in business, but the cross was over here. Half a chance, though. And it came about because of uh, Akhmedov's mistake there. It's a good overlapping run, actually, by uh, Beke. But he couldn't find a teammate with the cross. Way too high. 
It's actually only one Mumbai City player forward at the far post that was El Kayati. So far, a fairly positive start from the team with no points and no goals. Just get the sense they're starting to find their rhythm. Here's Vikram Singh. Here from Indian Arrows three years ago. Recently played his 50th game for the club. Former youth international, Singh. His goal back. Didn't have quite enough height to reach the intended target, who was this Kandorov. Comfortable for his Moidov getting back. But the whistle's gone. Only a free kick here to Mumbai by the look of it. For that little tug back by Golban, who can consider himself slightly fortunate actually not to get a caution for that. It was fairly cynical, he knew exactly what he was doing. The referee deciding that a talking to suffice on a warning presumably <laughs> waiting on this side is Tiri oh, that was hit very very hard at El Kayati he did brilliantly actually to ensure that his team kept the ball Lenning Mawia. Thierry again. El Kayati has got a trick or two in work that time. Dutch winger, but he's of uh, Moroccan descent, came here in September. And he's had a, a very varied CV also. Played uh, in England at Queen's Park Rangers. At home in Den Haag and also in uh, Qatar. As Anthony Fernandez looks on be reasonably pleased with the first eight or nine minutes here solid head of that from Becke he's not a big man but he's very good in the air predominantly a, a right back but he has played in the center of defense also Layoff was by Mishra. Now he's going on. Running mile, we have that's a nice ball. Diaz wants it. Pushed a bit wider than he required, though, and really have any space to work with the Argentinian there, but they've still got the ball. Stewart, chance to deliver. And that was a very safe, comfortable catch for Yusupov. Singh. Back for Becke. You wouldn't say Mumbai City are controlling the game, but they're certainly having the lion's share of the ball at the moment. <laughs> Pass was a little bit tight and it was easily picked off and Tabatze got a foot in. And that wasn't a particularly pretty challenge. And it's a yellow card, you better be careful. Joel Van Neef, how he reacts, because referees sometimes take a dim view of that kind of 
descent sliding in he may have made some contact with the ball but he went right into his man as well this is a look at the incident just a little earlier just pushed too wide really wasn't he Diaz and that was the follow-up cross from Stewart that was easy pickings for user upon Amidst all the spray, there's a footballer there somewhere. Confirmation of the Dutchman's yellow card. Predominantly a defensive midfielder, Van Neef, who arrived uh, at Mumbai in the summer. Right through his man. May hurt. Dokic was the injured party. He's OK. So user pop will restart with this free kick. Jamel. Haven't really seen much so far in an attacking sense from Navbahor. Might be under pressure again here if uh, Mumbai can work this to this near side. And they have. And here's El Teati. He thought fleetingly about the shot and then thought better of it. El Teati all the way back to Rostin Griffiths. Jamel. Haven't really got the ball to Iskandarov. So far, the man does the damage. Here's Tabadzi. Tiri, the covering defender, but he's given it away. Straight back to Tabadzi. And Iskandarov trying to turn, not quite the control required. Otherwise, that might have been very dangerous for Mumbai City. Now, can they turn defence into attack? And that's going to be a free kick and another course. Akmadov is going to go into the book. So two cards inside the first 13 minutes here. I think the referee had a great deal of choice, to be honest. Because Diaz was away and was unceremoniously upended. This was the half chance at the other end. Just that touch there, just to get too far away from himself, is Kandarov. So confirmation of the captain's card, and it's a free kick for Mumbai City. Vanif, El Kayati. See how well organised that for all are defensively once again. The Indian side forced to go back. All the way back to Nawaz. Beneath. Lenning Mawia. Nice touch by Stewart. This is more promising. Decent ball in. Off the post and the rebound it. Goalkeeper was all over the place. And Nasser El Kayati scores Mumbai City's first Champions League goal. It's been a while coming. It was a dangerous cross. The goalkeeper made a bit of a hash of it, truth to be told, Yusupov. And when the ball came back off the upright, El Kayati had a pretty simple job just to turn it in. Well, how the fans wanted that, needed that. Five scoreless games so far. The header off the upright from Stewart. And El Kayati did the easy bit. Reacted pretty sharply, actually, to be fair to him.
We might be out of contention in the Champions League, but big, big moment that for the Indian Super League club. Truth be told, it's probably no more than they deserve. They've had the lion's share of possession. Haven't had an opportunity, single opportunity yet now for Hall in front of goal. It's Lanang Marwia. Dokic. So now, from Nathbahal's point of view, it's really game on. They do not know with the 10 points, which is what they currently have, will it be enough to get them into the round of 16 next year? There's the scorer. Well, worth another look. It's an excellent header from Diaz. Did you see those missed? He didn't snatch at it. Coolly taken with a left foot, side foot finish. Very experienced El Kayat, he's 34 now. Here's Lanang Mawia. Almost see the confidence coursing through the Mumbai veins now they've finally found the target in this competition Thierry inviting Mishra forward and Mishra's got it and no foul oh the cross was a dangerous one and just for a minute Chermel was rather ball watching didn't realise he had an opponent right behind him got away with just a corner in the end but how well did Mishra do? The freak thought there wasn't a push there. And Shermel was just getting ready to side foot it out for the corner when Vikram Singh appeared in his wing mirror. Let off that for Nafahor. Will it only be temporary though? Greg Stewart will take the corner, the Scott. Plenty of height on it. Free header at the far post as well for Griffiths, but he was kind of backpedalling and the angle wasn't the best. Almost had to, would have had to float that back from whence it came into the far corner to give the goalkeeper a problem. So 19 minutes gone, Mumbai City in front thanks to. That's the El Kayati's goal. Calmly done that time by Yusupov. That's an awkward one. It <laughs> Rather hit the heel of Griffiths. I don't think he knew much about that at all. But it kind of worked. <laughs> well, they had a lot of players committed upfield there now for Hawk. Problem being for Mumbai, they had plenty back, but look at this for a run from Stewart. He's still going. Took about a fourth or fifth defender to stop him. Great run from the 33-year-old who played in Scotland for the likes of Dundee and Rangers, among others. any kind of serious consideration about getting a penalty for that and to be fair there was no appeal either
Akhmedov. Now it's Kandorov. Won't mind seeing him pick the ball up that deep, Mumbai City. Goal back. Bit sharp for Tabati on the turn. He wasn't able to do anything with it. As Kandorov nearly stole it back. They still haven't got it properly clear. And the shot fucked against Griffiths. He wants a penalty for handball, Sabritsanov. I don't think he's going to get that. I'm not sure how much the defender knew about it, truth to tell. Certainly caught it well. Sabritsanov. Could be wrong, that might be just about the first time he touched the ball. Van Neef. Griffiths. Out to Becke. So now came away with it, Van Neef, there when he looked second favourite, and then he got a nudge. Free kick, Mumbai. just a little earlier in this incident with the shot let's see where it hits Griffiths well if it did uh, hit his arm no, I think it hit I think it hit his side I don't think that was in any way a penalty nor was that it's a dangerous ball just a bit too much on it but goalkeeper's heart would have been in his mouth when it was curling in with that man Becke on the premises just looking to get a touch just couldn't reach it it's Kandero. that's a terrific ball Sabritsinov two in the middle one more arriving now still Sabritsinov has it lays it off for the shot that was always rising over Nawaz's bar so a disappoint again to a promising move that from Napahor. Yeah, it's got four goals this season, Bolter Boev, who had that shot. Team his shooting was rather more accurate on those four occasions. There's the possession stats, and it's no real surprise, is it? Just about 70 30. Singh was keeping uh, Chermel honest. Stewart. Kept alive by LKRT, but to no avail. There's a man down here, Jorge Diaz, looks in some discomfort here. That's why. Like, challenge with uh, Milos Milovic. He is ankle. It looks like he's going to be okay. that terrific run earlier from Greg Stewart and as I said a few moments ago you wouldn't think looking at the way the Mumbai players are performing here that effectively it's a completely dead rubber for them Rizanov he's going to keep that alive actually here's Bolta Boev 
no room for Ismailov to turn. Diaz. And Marwia. Tabatsi. Chamel goes long. Looking for the run of uh, Ismoinov, who was rather clattered. And I think we're going to need at least one physio here, maybe two. Untidy challenge that from Akesh Mishra. And he's given away a free kick in a threatening position here. Ironically, he seems to have come off worse. Well, I don't imagine that Sambel Barbian, who we got a glimpse of there, is too impressed with the way his team have played in the first 25 minutes or so. Definitely been second best. has been carded for that challenge understandably so now who fancies this in white Mishkandarov would be the obvious candidate but there, there's a committee of four over the ball here including Akhmedov so Batsy is there as well so is Dokic no one's trying to get a view So that too is the man who placed it and placed it pretty deliberately. Turn one from two then. Can they get it up and over that wall and down again? Just about the perfect distance you think to try and do that. Doing that line. Is Kander oh, That is an absolute beauty. The set is the playmaker. The man who's impressed all season in this competition for that Bahor, and he's got them level with a peach of a free kick. Nalos never sniffed it, and out of nothing, really, Sambo Babian's team are level. Well, you cannot take a free kick any better than that. Doesn't matter if you're Roberto Carlos, David Beckham, or anyone else you could name. This is absolute perfection. Curl, dip, top corner. And it was pretty much past the goalkeeper before he got anywhere near it. Absolutely stunning equaliser. Twenty-nine minutes to goal time, and well worth the admission money on its own. Nothing he could do whatsoever to stop that. It's his sixth goal of the season, second in the Champions League. I imagine he scored many better. So bang on the half hour, all level again at one apiece. Now, what kind of an effect is that going to have on Mumbai City? They were playing with such verve and such confidence having taken the lead. Finally scored their first goal in this tournament. Now they've been pegged back. He did another free kick here. A little clumsy. That by Van Nief. He's been booked already, remember. Foul on Dokic. Well, 
Well worth another look. He's got a deadly left foot, that man. Here last year, he's 30 now. Made his league debut when he was only 18. He actually won the Uzbek Player of the Year award in 2014, would, would you believe? He was an absolute hero at Paktakor, where he won a couple of league titles and uh, equally adored by the Navbahor supporters. This is goal back. Just a little uh, conversation here between assistant and referee. Quite sure what this is about, to be honest with you. If there's a problem with the, the referee's little uh, mic system there. Do about nothing. We're off and underway again. This is Tilly. Underneath. Now Rostin Griffiths. a bit too much on the pass really give Dick Ramsin too much chance of catching up with it not be able to do anything with it at any rate This is Mishra. One the worst to wear after coming off worse when he fouled his man. It led to the free kick from which Kandarov exacted maximum punishment. Then Neath again. Knocked across by Alan Mawia. Certainly continue to knock the ball about with a fair degree of confidence when by City, albeit not in particularly uh, dangerous areas in the last few minutes. Tilly. Griffiths. Now Bakke. Once again, well marshalled now for Horn midfield, forcing. Mumbai back. They play it down here in Mumbai, but now the Hall are continuing with Tabadzi. Look for an option. He's trying to hit to Ismailov in the middle. Unable to find his teammate. Oh, that's a real giveaway. And that was a poor challenge by Lano Marley. It gives away a, an unnecessary free kick in another threatening area. <laughs> Referee was never going to miss that right in front of his nose. Well, he's done a lot of damage. I'm not sure 
whether from this angle he can find something similar. We'll see. I don't think anyone else is going to have the temerity to want to take the free kick off him. Well, left statuesque last time. Now was. Might be the double bluff, I suppose. Maybe Tabati will fancy a crack. Be better for a right-footed player with the free kick on this left-hand side. But when you've got a left foot as good as uh, Iskandarov does, I'm not sure it really matters. Anyway, all's about to be revealed. It is Tabati. Really saving. Got across well now, Arts, to push that aside. Good contact and a little bit of curl as well. A lot of curl actually from Tabati. Georgian striker not far away from putting that the hall in front. Seen from that angle, it was even better save than it first appeared. So first corner of the match for Nav Bahor. Rather disappointingly didn't beat the first defender at the near post and Mumbai can clear their lines. Albeit not very far. Brizanov, three there for the throw. Inch perfect that for Ismailov. Oh, and here's the Brizanov. Right across the face of goal. Just starting to look the more likely, aren't they? The Uzbek team. Each of a pass that. Inch perfect. Instant control as well from Izmanovu. Found Sabritsinov. Just too much on it for Tabadze in the middle to get any kind of a touch. Hence the thumping of the turf from the big Georgian. about managed to clear their lines there Mumbai City just starting to look a little ragged defensively and that was a blatant shirt tug you gotta be careful Mishra he's already been booked if the man whose shirt he pulled had gone down there I think he could have been in big big trouble done by Nawaz and again they've just been hassled out of it and that's clever if he can reach it is my love not quite Stuart was on the case this was header Looks like he came off worse well won though by Akhmedov to watch that carefully back okay, and he did and now maybe Mumbai City can make something of this charge forward it's with Mishra what a shot that will live long in the memory thank you pardon it was LKRT who had the strike you can see he didn't have a great deal of support really make any kind of uh, serious contact with it. it wasn't authoritative was it so into the last five minutes of normal time at the end of the first half I think as we've seen on so many occasions in the Champions League this season there's going to be quite a lot added on Thank 
back for Van Neef. That's dangerous, just a fraction too high for Diaz. And Chermel happy just to whack it away to safety. Well, they might still be dominating in terms of possession, Mumbai City, but the game's taken on a very different complexion since the equaliser went in just before the half hour. Flexion on the cross. Oh, it came off the uh, frame of the goal. Danger still not clear. Excellent block. All of a sudden, everything seems to stand still. And that came off the uh, woodwork. Still not properly clear. This is El Kayati. But he did a cross. He kept it in. It's got to be cleared. And eventually it was by Bolter Boeb. But that was a really close shave for Nathbahor. Goalkeeper completely non plus by it. As Mishra was deflected and onto the angle of post and bar. Deflected by Ismail Ob's boot. He'd been a worried man for a moment. something in just before the break Mumbai City and then knows he's back in front of what's been a really competitive opening half so far here's Van Neek brilliant there Diaz to make anything of that Van Neek again last minute of the first 45 but as I say there'll be plenty to add no doubt now that he's Stewart that's a decent try and just wide from Lannan Marwia. Best chance they've had pretty much since the goal. Just agonizingly past the upright. And it stays at 1-1. Excellent work from Stewart, the builder. Now, all eyes are going to turn to the fourth official momentarily. <laughs> He's done that a few times, to you. See how much stoppage time at the end of the first half. He played the first 45. Three minutes is the answer. Done. Here's Sabritsanov looking to get to the byline and uh, centre, but he'll get a corner. 
So maybe a few anxious moments yet for Mumbai City at the end of this opening half. Corner kick and kicker was all at sea. He was almost shuffling along his goal line there, Mohamed Nawaz. Let's watch the goalkeeper here. Doesn't know what to do. Fortunate he didn't have to make a save of any kind. So now a corner from the other side. Just over a minute left of stoppage time at the end of this first half. This Kandarov will take it. the in swinger with his left foot but that wasn't his best back in from Ismailov and the slice behind kept alive momentarily by uh, Tabadzi <laughs> off the defender's boot for yet another corner wasn't much better, but it found its way through, and it's found its way in. What a soft goal. Not that Dokic will be complaining, because Navajor had the lead with pretty much the last kick of the first half. It wasn't the best corner you'll ever see, but no one wanted to clear it, and Dokic just helped himself. Beat everyone. And the Serbian couldn't believe his luck. Turned it in from pretty close range. And Navbahor have come from behind. And they lead on the stroke of half time. Well, that is a real body blow for Mumbai City. Disappointing enough for them to concede the corner, uh, to concede the equaliser, I should say, but to go behind right at the death. Going to make Anthony Fernandez's half time team talk a lot more difficult. Unless they can find something here, it's a real up and under in that Napa Hall box. Must be the last chance this, surely, for the home team in this first half. Bouncing awkwardly, and the goalkeeper eventually came to claim it, and you suspect the whistle will go once Yusupov gets this cleared. And indeed, before he even takes the kick, the referee says, that'll do. Well, the over Dokic with pretty much the last kick of the half, giving Navajor a half-time advantage after... Iskandarov's wonderful free kick had brought them level. They trailed after a quarter of an hour to LKRT's side foot finish after Diaz's header came back off the post. For Nathbahor, you would say, one foot in the last 16, because surely 13 points would be enough to clinch a runner-up berth. Still 45 minutes to go, though. Half-time here in Pune. And it's Mumbai City 1, Navajor 2.
Мумбай. Чуть почитрее через Валерьевича сыграйте на замахе. Сейчас, сейчас я скажу. Well, a warm welcome back to Pune. If you're just joining us, Mumbai City trail by two goals to one to Nav Bahor, who were trying to cement a place as one of the best finishing runner-ups in the West region. And at the moment, we'd say that they're bang on course to do that because they'd finish with 13 points. If they hold on to victory here, and that surely will be more than enough. Story of the match, Mumbai led, courtesy of El Kayati's goal, but then Iskandarov with a wonderful free kick, and then Djokic, right at the end of the first half, have turned things round. Don't appear to be any changes to either side. just waiting for the clock to tick round to the uh, official restart time. If the scoreline does stay this way, expect several changes relatively early, I would think, from Anthony Fernandez, the uh, stand-in Mumbai City coach. Samvel Babian just making his way back to the dugout. He'll be very happy with the way things are going at the moment. So where we go then at the start of this second half. If you are just joining us, now for Hall, all in white, attacking the goal away to our left in this second period. Shows real strength of character from Fabi inside that they've come from behind. Clearly you can say they have more incentive than their opponents because one by City have long been out of the competition but certainly in the first half an hour until that wonderful free kick from Iskandarov and one by City were on top certainly absolutely no lack of effort from the Indian side So an early throw here for Napahor, deep in Mumbai City territory. <laughs> Nearly stolen by Chermel, but whistle's gone. Looks a painful one actually for. Lanning Marbia.
Yeah. Eighteen caps and counting for Mumbai City number forty-five. He's still only twenty-three. Came here a couple of years ago for a big fee by Indian Super League standards. Hope he can run that off. in a hurry in the second half, certainly well there in front. Kept that in, Vikram Singh. And used it well too. Now Van Neef. Four ball from the Dutchman. And equally errant. And there's Moidon. Back in. That's a better pass. They've got three in the middle here waiting, Mumbai, but that's over here. That's a poor delivery because he had time to measure that cross, Mishra, and hence the hand of apology. Willing to get forward at almost every opportunity from left back, the number, six, the, uh, number 31. Okay, last man back. Now Chermel, a little shelf from Stewart. Free kick now for Hall. Bit early for Cramp, you would have thought. in a bit of pain actually it's strange to get cramped so early in the second half it's maybe suggesting that he needs to move off the pitch and that's good refereeing right by the touchline free kick taken in his absence Sink. Half charge down. Well, now it might break for Mumbai City. Here's Greg Stewart. He's got Diaz waiting in the middle. It's nowhere near the centre forward, but. Chermel wants to come back on. 
Berkeley hasn't seen him yet. Now he says, yeah, you're OK. Excellent ball for Sabritzanov. Fancy a strike here, and he does hit it. And he wasn't a million miles away, and he got a slight deflection too. Was well found, but after that, it's all his own work inside the fullback. Always looked like he wanted to shoot. off to take his corner that albeit was a poor one but it led to the second uh, Nat Bahor goal Jamel optimistic and the goalkeeper with an excellent punch under pressure from Tabadze got huge distance on that Nawaz Must have seen Sabatsi coming, only had eyes for the ball. That's a phenomenal touch. Mishra. Now LKRT, the Mumbai goal scorer. Griffiths. Nearly, but not quite. Solidly by Tabatsi. Came off Becke. That's the whole ball. Mumbai still dominating possession, but it's not helping them at the moment. Need to be better in possession than that, although that's an awful slice clearance. Lucky for Nathbahal that Goldban was there to tidy up. Must be contemplating changes, you'd have thought. Anthony Fernandez. Was well, the off? Absolutely convinced he should have had a free kick there. Referee thought otherwise, and Mumbai City might take advantage, but not with a pass like that. Iskandarov. Hit the back of the bad seat. Thank <laughs> you. 
Griffiths. Well kicked in by uh, Vikram Singh. not to keep it in there but it was brilliantly won by Becky she scored the winner in the first ever Champions League match that was won by an Indian team here last year the captain Another nav the whole ball. Chamel. Right in front of the referee. Doc hits the man who was fouled. Nice piece of skill, actually. Way too much skill for Vikram Singh to deal with. Man who has things stand will be the winning goal scorer, Dokic. So either Iskandarov or Sabritsinov will deliver here. It is the latter. Keeper chose to. Punch, he maybe could have caught that. Chermel. Free kick. And now Rostin Griffiths. Beke. Sing. Wanted the return. Will he get to it? He will get to it. And in the end, all he'll get to corner. Good purposeful run though from Vikram Singh as we past the hour mark here in Pune. Just that enough. Championship Volta Boev. In cover to Chermel, who was beaten, actually. And here tugging and holding going on as Stewart takes the corner. Half clear. Gonna come straight back, maybe. Good delivery, and they headed just over the top from Thierry. Big Spanish defender got up really well, but just couldn't get it underneath the crossbar. not required to make a save he's not actually had a great deal to do so far the Napoli goalkeeper truth to tell With that clearance, though, the goalkeeper, <laughs> he miscued it, could easily have fallen to a Mumbai City player. Go 
on the line by Chermet. Elsa Brixen off. Chermet again. Ricochets, but in the end, Sabritsinov belts it away. Just had it whipped off his toe there, Greg Stewart. Oh, that's hurt uh, Chermel. That really might give him a problem. Thought about knocking it out of play there and then changed his mind to Badsy. Well, Chermel's back up again, so no need to put the ball out. Possession now down to 55 45, still in. Mumbai's favour, but they need to get some of that passing rhythm together. They showed early in the first half. Maybe now they can produce something. Well, not like that from Van Neef. That was very wayward. It's a long way out and a long way over. First couple of changes. Well, a single change, I should say. It's just the one change. Griffiths has gone off. And Metab Singh, fellow defender, is off. Not sure if Griffiths had picked up a knock or it's just a tactical. Looked like he was limping, so maybe coach has just decided it. Wants to get him uh, a rest. Here's Tiri. Now Beckett. Singh. Good cover from Dokic. Don't expect Babi and the uh, Nathaniel coach to make too many changes unless he has injury issues. Only got four outfield players on the bench, only five substitutes in total with the reserve keeper. Here's Thierry. Should be the keepers and is. He was trying to do too close to use the path who clears deep into Mumbai territory all the way through in fact to his opposite number now was back eight Headed by Singh. Once again, it's left uh, Chen El with a problem. He's really been in the wars. Once again, he's right by the touchline. I'm not sure the referees can have too much sympathy. That's three times already in the second half he's been down. He's back on his feet now. We'll see for how long. Out for a Mumbai throw. Oh, 
Becky. And again. Charles on the deck once more. He really has been in the wars, the Serbian. Actually, that could have been a lot worse if Vikram Singh had made more of a solid connection. Kind of wasn't full-blooded, was it? He felt it, though. I think he's still suffering from a bit of cramp, too. But he's soldiering on as we move past the three-quarter point in the contest. Still 2-1. Nap of all lead. Yusupov taking no chances, way too deep, but his only concern was getting it out of harm's way. Becky. Hit long by Tiri. And accurately, too, that's a Super Bowl. It's also excellent defending from Ismailov. Very, very solid. He's a very wholehearted player, Ismailov. He can play, as he is now, as kind of a wing-back. He can play in central midfield as well. He arrived here in January and has been pretty much ever-present since then. Lays it off. And they unlock the nap the whole defense again. Maybe now. Just had too much time almost. Lalling Mar here. This is Becky. Sing. Managed to wrap his foot around it, but again, it's a present for user pop. Well, there comes a point where I think he's going to have to make the change because Chermel is down again. Another very easy take for the Nelfa Hall goalkeeper. Just looks in real trouble. He's been down four or five times in the second half alone. I think he's going to have to take him out here, Babian mentioned he's only got four outfield substitutes yeah, with two of them but well, he doesn't need the uh, stretcher at least which is good <laughs> looks like a double change coming up for Mumbai Nipin Singh's going to be one of them. He's a striker. Come back to that in a moment. Not a bad ball that for Diaz. Need support, he's got some. Off the head of Goldban. And the shot was travelling, but it was also straight down the goalkeeper's throat. And a Marbia's effort, safely fielded by Yusupov. No 
problem. And then the hall keeper still can't get these uh, changes that he wants to make. Uh, Fernandez, and that's been given away to Iskandarov, who's a dangerous man to give it to, and he's won himself a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area here. And this spells massive danger. We've already seen what Jamshid Iskandarov can do from that kind of range, and now he's going to have, have another chance. And a third goal here, you'd think, for Nabahor, surely, would end Mumbai City's challenge. So Tabadzi and Iskandarov over the ball. Haven't even started forming the wall yet. Mumbai. Well, he's beaten Nawaz once. And that for hall number 10, can he do it again? Assuming it's he who's going to take this. It is his Kandarov, and that time it didn't quite come down as it did for him in the first half. Well, a couple of changes here. Unsurprisingly, Luca Chemel is coming off, being replaced by Donny or Agumana Popov, who's an industrious midfielder. And Tabadze is off as well. Replaced by Atu Kolikov, who is a, a striker. So it is a like for like change. Vipin is on. I think I also saw. Yeah, so Vikram is off along with Kayati. Safely back with the goalkeeper. And Changte is also on. Number seven. He's going to play up front and they need. A goal from somewhere, obviously. Still plenty of time, though, for Mumbai. If they can find a decent delivery, but that again is never really threatening from Mishra. Theory. On this near side is Bipin Singh. One of those has just come on. Take. One for the decision, didn't get it. Striding forward here, the substitute, after he made a pop off. Maybe a little wishful with the shot at the end, but certainly a purposeful run from the 23-year-old.
backhand. Well, he is quick. He's uh, Chang Tay, so maybe he can uh, add a little bit going forward if they can uh, give him the right ball. Need to get the ball forward, need to get it forward quickly. Clock is not uh, their friend at the moment. In by City. Have to really admire the organisation of Nabokov under Samvel Babian. Every player knows exactly what's expected of them. This is Van Neef. Stewart. Having said that, just takes one moment for them to get back on terms. Wide from Van Neef, making Mishra work for this, but he has got it. Shang Tay. Waiting in the middle, but they couldn't keep it. Although now the Hall haven't cleared it very far. Lanang Marwia. Stoic defending again from Igor Goldbank. Beckett. Tiri. Well, that's a poor ball. Very disappointing. Instruction being yelled from the sideline, move the ball. Just really haven't done enough of that as we move into the last 10 minutes of the 90. <laughs> Get a free kick here, though. So corner kick, maybe they can fashion something from this. Chang Tae will take it. Signal to someone. Acrobatic and spectacular from the keeper. Did the main thing and got the ball away, but here's a chance. Goalkeeper went down. And he's going to get a free kick, so it wouldn't have counted anyway. He may well have got a kick in the face here. He's the top. Well worth, well worth another look. Beke got a piece of it. And it was Diaz going in with you, Sapov. I'm not 
pretty sure how much contact he made with the goalkeeper, you know. Cynic would say that obviously Yusufov is going to run down the clock every possible opportunity he gets. Meanwhile, more change is coming. And then Mario is coming off to be replaced by Jayesh Rane. Mishra is off as well. And Vinit Rai is on number 16. Rai is an attacking midfielder. Rane can play in a host of positions, usually a defensive midfielder, but I'm not sure that's going to be of much use to them at the moment. this equaliser that might eliminate Napahor, we don't know yet. This is Beke again. It's out, I'm afraid. Pass was hit with way too much venom. That's a nice turn from Abdul Kolikov. And here comes Sabritzanov. He's good at holding the ball up. He won't mind about one of the day's longest back passes because just over five minutes of the 90 left. And now the Hall still have their noses in front. That should be the keepers. Just about. see a spate of Napa Hall players on the deck in, over the next few minutes. So Britsonov is uh, the man down at the moment. Here's Becke. innocence but it's a yellow card for the substitute here again sliding in with uh, without too much care and attention like their sixth match is going to end the same way as the previous five in the Champions League this season Mumbai City with the defeat we've only got three minutes left of normal time there's going to be 
probably five or six to add on, but even so. And all this after the boost of an early goal. Nothing else has really materialised. Not yet, anyway. forward and hope that they can find something near the death laid off by Diaz just the throw said even if Mumbai City were to equalize I think 11 points very likely to get Nat Mahal through as one of the three best runners up from the five West region groups but I don't want the three points to make absolutely sure Sin anywhere will do it really was Rosette Neef. Oh, is there a chance to turn here? There might be. The shot was blocked from Stewart. It's behind for a corner. Still hope for the Indian Super League team. So into the final minute of the 90. What can they find here? Greg Stewart will take it. Disappointing delivery. Easy header out. And suddenly they've got a throw way back on the halfway line. This was the moment. Stewart saw the whites of gold with a really good block in the nick of time. Keeper chooses to punch. Decent distance on it as far as right solid challenge so all eyes turning towards the, uh, the fourth official because we played the 90 and we're going to play five more Then a chance then for Mumbai. Dipping Singh. It's not a bad ball. The shot really lacked uh, any kind of fizz to it from Rane. Very comfortable save for Yusupov. Nice little ball though. Really had to go far post. I don't think Rane was going to beat. Used to play with the near, even if he got more penetration on the shot. That's a terrific ball. Bipin Singh. Made the intelligent pass for Stewart. Three waiting. Still waiting. Stewart again. Oh, the sums up their evening. That was a pretty poor effort. Way, way wide. I just haven't worked. User pub enough. Had a pretty uneventful evening. It was Rye's effort. Hoping to appoint a permanent successor to Des Buckingham before Christmas in Mumbai City. So, what have they got? Three weeks or so.
did well there, Sabritzanov. He's had a good game. And now Abdi Manapopov. Sort of running, the youngster. He wants a free kick. Referee says, no, you're not going to get one. He's rolled back onto the field. <laughs> Excuse me, but there was an arm in the face. But I'm not sure how intentional it was. And I think he's going to get a yellow card here for time wasting because he, he was off the field and then he rolled back onto it. That's not going to work. That's poor. From Abdi Manapopov, he's never going to get away with it. Two minutes of stoppage time to go. This will be the goalkeepers. I don't know if someone had given him the sign for two minutes, but that's what we've got left. Oh, that was for a moment. Could have been dangerous. Almost confused each other. Might have been better to leave it, but maybe didn't get a shout. So into the final minute of time added on, a few glum faces on that Mumbai City bench. As Yusupov clears as far as he can into Mumbai City territory. He's got a big kick on him, the keeper, actually. So throw to Napahor with the time ticking away. Britsonov. Free kick given to Mumbai City, but surely this is last chance. We played the five additional minutes. They've just got to basically thump it forward and hope. Need to get it into the box. Not a bad ball, or is it too far? They've got a corner, if there's time to take it. Stewart going across. Well, he might have added on a minute for the time wasting by uh, Abdi Manapopov, but surely no handball for, the, uh, for a penalty. Here's the corner. Comfortably away by Abdu Kolikov. Actually thought about plumbing and now he has. And Mumbai City end up pointless. But Navbahor surely are going to be in the last 16. 13 points, almost certain to be enough. He knows that, the coach, Babian. It's been a terrific campaign from the Uzbek side. A wonderful free kick from Iskandarov that leveled the affair after Nasser El Kayati had put the hosts in front. And then right on the stroke of half-time, Jovan Dokic with a scrappy goal from a corner, but a goal that looks like taking Navbahor into the knockout stages of the Champions League. And remember, they are debutants in this competition. A terrific night for Samvel Babian's team thoroughly deserve victory on the balance of play and they are almost certainly going to have champions league football to look forward to in 2024 final score from Pune at the sri shiv chatrapati sports complex is finished mumbai city one nafahor two <laughs>